This next sequence is actually for warming up or cooling down. So take your time with this and take your time in the stretch. I would recommend 10 to 30 seconds in each stretch. And this ensures that you are lengthening that muscle and increasing your mobility in those muscles. So you're gonna set your speed on number one and let's get going. So just follow right along. Our first stretch, you're gonna place that foot onto the platform and lean down into that stretch and hold just like this. So your heel is gonna be on the platform, toe pointed up. Make sure that you're holding the handles. And this is actually stretching the hamstring and the calves and the back of that leg. Okay, so we're gonna hold here. Give it in about another 10 more seconds. The reason why you want to hold a stretch for a good length of time is so you increase the elasticity in those muscles and you begin to lengthen the fibers of those muscles. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the right foot. And you're going to feel really good after these. So again, use these before or after any workout. Or if you just kind of feel tight, you know, maybe it's the day after you worked out. Or maybe you woke up this morning and you just feel like you need to increase that mobility and get your blood flowing a little bit. These are good for really any time. So again, you can hold these for 10 to 30 seconds. It's a very simple sequence that you can do. Okay, the next move we're gonna do is a lunge with upstretched arms. So we're gonna go ahead and place the left foot firmly and squarely on to the platform and make sure you have a good firm grip. Go ahead and raise both of those arms up and deepen that stretch. This stretch is especially good for the hip flexor. So that's the area right on the outside of your leg. And it's also deepening the stretch in the quad. And this also is a little bit of a balancer as well. So you might get a little bit tired. So feel free to hold this one for 10 seconds if you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the right leg. And again, you can go ahead and go as deep as you'd like, as far as feels good to you and as far as your range of mobility is. Raise those arms up nice and slow. Keep that chin lifted high and powerful and hold. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Sometimes I have to remind myself to keep breathing as well. All right, we're gonna come down out of that. I hope you're feeling a little more limber. We're gonna come on. This one's not really using the plate, but we are using the grip on this machine. So place your arms forward on those handles. Glutes are heading out. We're gonna keep those knees almost locked, okay? And then we're just gonna come down through those handles. Through this movement, I know that we're just stretching, but keep that belly button pulled towards your spine. And you'll feel that this is lengthening that hamstring especially, but it's also giving a great stretch for those upper arms, your shoulders, triceps. This one feels really, really good. Okay, again, give it a good 10, 30 seconds, wherever you're at. And once you have these stretches memorized, you can do them anytime, or you can feel free to join me in the video. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and step on the plate. We're gonna go ahead for a side stretch. This is one of my favorites. Make sure that you bring your feet hip width apart, pressing up through the heel in the center of the foot. We're gonna start with our left arm. Make sure you've got a grip as well, okay? Bring that arm over and across, lengthen, reach those fingertips as far as you can. Keep a nice soft bend of those knees and let's head to the left. Now I'm gonna go through this one five times on each side. You'll see this is really lengthening the fibers of those oblique muscles. And it's a really good stretch for the core as well as those arms. The outside edge of the arm, the tricep, the shoulders. Okay, here we go for number two on that opposite side. Reach those fingertips. You can really deepen even farther just by reaching and lengthening just a little bit more than you might have reached last time. And you'll notice that that stretch can be deepened the more you do it. So that just means that you're lengthening the fibers of those muscles. Okay, here we go for two more. Reach those arms far. It's a very graceful move. 
I like to hold my fingers in this mudra here. Don't forget to breathe. All right, last one, here we go. Reach. And back once again. All right, how you guys feeling? Pretty limber? We're gonna go in for our last stretch in this sequence. This is a quad stretch, so you're gonna place one foot in the center. I'm gonna start with my right foot here in the center. I'm grabbing with my right hand and I'm gonna bring my leg up to greet my left hand and pulling that heel toward the glute. And you guessed it, I'm sure you feel it already, but this is stretching the quad, okay? So we're holding here and switch, okay? So once again, bring that foot to the center, bring that right leg up, hold. Again, through all these movements, you're gonna wanna keep your chin lifted, keep that center of power in your core and in your energy, okay? All right, left leg up once again, switching, getting a little bit looser now. And we're also actually working a little bit on balance too with these stretching moves because that platform is working for us right below. All right, let's go for three on this stretch, okay? So we've got one more. Let's switch back over to the left. And if you can't reach that heel up, just bring it up as far as you can, okay? This is all about your progress. Okay, and then we're gonna switch one more time over to that right leg. Pull it up. Don't forget to grip onto that handle. Don't want anyone falling here. All right, and down. Okay, powering off. I really hope that you enjoyed this sequence. Again, you can use this for warming up, cooling down, or any time in general. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.